welcome friends today i tell about gprs first of all what is gprs general packet radio service is a new barrier service for gsm that greatly improves and simplifies wireless access to packet data networks gprs applies packet radio principle to transfer user data packets in an efficient way between ms and external packets data network benefits of gprs new data services high speed data rate 40.4 to 115 kbps efficient use of radio bandwidth circuit switching and packet switching can be used in parallel constant connectivity gprs services offers end to end packet switch data transfer there are two types of services first barrier services in the barrier services two types of barrier services first ptp ptp means point to point service and the second is ptm it means point to multi point service then second services is supplementary services it has also two types first sms sms means short message service the second is cfu call forwarding unconditional gprs terminals there are three types of terminals first class a ms supports simultaneously operation of gprs and gsm services second is class b ms able to register with network for both gprs and gsm services simultaneously it can only use one of the two services at a given time and the third and last is class c msc can attach for either gprs or gsm services gprs network elements gprs architect gprs network elements gprs architecture is same as gsm expect few hardware modification gprs includes gsns sgsn it means serving gprs support node ggsn it means gateway gprs support node gprs register gprs register is integrated with gsm hlr maintains the gprs subscriber data and routing information stores current sgsn address interworking with ip networks gprs network can be interconnected with an ip based packet data network gprs network loops like ip sub network and ggsn loops like a ip route attachment and deattachment procedure gprs attach gprs attach user is registered in sgsn after authentication check from hla sgsn assigns ptms i to ms gprs detach disconnection of ms from gprs network is called gprs detach it can be initiated by ms or by network location management mobile station can be in one of the three status depending on traffic amount idle ms is not using gprs service second ready performing gprs attach ms gets into ready state third is standby when ms does not send any packets for longer period of time ready timer expires channels in gprs logical channel there have two types traffic channels and singling channels singling channels is also called control channels 
the second is and the second is physical channels application of gprs application of gprs are web browsing corporate and internet email vehicle positioning remote lane access home automation document sharing or collaborative working thank you